Well, Washington's barrage of allegations of a Russian military presence in Ukraine has prompted a group of American intelligence veterans to appeal to the German Chancellor, Angela Merkel. In their open letter, they hit out at the US, saying the evidence it's provided to back up its claims is dubious and politically motivated. Well, let's go live now to Ray McGovern, a former CIA analyst and US presidential advisory team member, uh, who's one of the signatories of this letter. Uh, Mr McGovern, thank you very much for coming on to the programme today. You put your name to this letter. Welcome. Why are you so concerned? That's right. Well, we're concerned that uh, Angela Merkel, uh, together with some other uh, European leaders, do not really realize what the stakes are for them. And when this faux intelligence is adduced, uh, fuzzy images from photography and other things which prove nothing, we have a very terrible flashback to the situation 11 years ago when the same kind of faux intelligence was used to justify a war of aggression on the part of the United States and the United Kingdom against Iraq. We see that same thing happening again, and we think that this time the other party is Russia and that people should be aware that Russia will not let its security interests be, be jeopardized by uh, drawing the Ukraine into uh, what, what could be NATO. So, Ray, explain to me how can this happen, because people might be surprised to hear this coming from someone like yourself. If the intelligence services provide evidence and they say to politicians, look, we don't believe this is viable, how are they then able to use it and, and publicise it in the media? Well, that's the crucial question, and I'm glad you asked it. The policymakers are not obliged to take the intelligence. They can distort it, as they did with respect to Iraq, or they can just uh, ignore it, as, they, as they're doing now. Uh, all this talk about Russian expansionism. There is not one scintilla of evidence that Putin or any other Russian leader ever thought that they would reincorporate Crimea into Russia proper until there was a coup d'etat in Kiev run by the United States and the EU, toppling a regime there which was reasonably pro-Russian pro uh, and replacing it with a regime that was anxious, eager to uh, move the Ukraine into the orbit of the EU and eventually NATO. Uh, the Russians are not going to stand for that. They should have known that. The only people who, who uh, are responsible for this are either the people who want this kind of tension, because peace is not good for business, witness the fact that the common European battle tank has now uh, gotten a new uh, resuscitation, uh, the people who ha see merit in having a big, bad Russian bear just on the other side of Western or Eastern Europe. It's, uh, artic it's artificially stoked, and people should recognize that. Do you the not same think... people who profiteer on wars sure. are the people who run the media. Sorry to interrupt there, Ray, but do you not think Mrs Merkel be, will be aware of this? Shouldn't her intelligence officers tell this to her? She shouldn't expect to have to get a letter from you, should she? Her intelligence officers are anhänger. <laughs> That means they're sort of trailers. Say. They follow behind what the, uh, what the uh, pre uh, predominant line is in policy, not only in intelligence. Uh, what we think she needs to know is that it's time that West Europe, uh, old Europe, as Rumsfeld called them, needs to grow up, needs to see their own interests as being distinct and often different from those of the United States, particularly when such valuable trade and other economic relationships exist between Russia and Europe that do not exist between Russia and the United States. She needs to step up to that sooner rather than later. Let's just, just briefly, Ray, just briefly, just touch on NATO. You made an accusation in your letter that you believe that General Secretary's speeches are drafted by Washington. Is that just a shot at him or do you really believe that? Well, the proof is in the pudding. One day before the US-UK invasion of Iraq, Anders Fogh Rasmussen, who was the Danish Prime Minister at the time, addressed his parliament, and this is what he said, quote, it is not that we believe there are weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, we know it, period, end quote. Now, where did he get that? 
He got that from the United States, just as he is getting his material now from the United States. There is not a, there is not a scintilla of, uh, of, of daylight between Rasmussen and Washington, and people ought to realize that. Sure, OK, and I'm sure it will be met with um, firm rebuffals from NATO too. But uh, thank you for your analysis, um, Mr McGovern. That's Ray McGovern, a former CIA analyst and US presidential team advisor. Thank you.